Here's my dirty Bolins 1050. I got my car stuck and uh, I had to get my wife come help me to drive the car and I was going to pull it with the 1050. I was able to push it out anyways but uh, the 1050 was behind the one of the wheels of the car obviously which was spinning. But anyways uh, the purpose of this episode is to show you uh, how a solenoid is. What is a solenoid? So a solenoid is a device uh, which uh, allows you to turn on uh, the engine or start the engine uh, by use of the key. Um, you don't want all the amps going through uh, the connection with the key uh, for various reasons. Um, you'd have to insulate the key so that you know your hand isn't a potential uh, drain uh, or source for the uh, the amperage that's flying through there. Of course, it's only 12 volts, but uh, lots of amperage that's going to go to the starter starter motor on this beast. Um, uh, but you, don't, you just don't need that power up there by the key anyways. You'd have to run really long um, small gauge wire to get it all up, all the way up to the key and back to the starter uh, and to the battery um, if you were to run all that amperage to the key. So what you do is you uh, use a solenoid. Now I've got an old solenoid here this is the solenoid that came out of it. This guy was dead. Um, so you got your small 12 volt charge that comes from the key and then your two uh, large amperage 12 volt connections which go from the, the battery on one side to the generator on the other. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how it works anyways. This one was dead and the, the one that's in my 1050 right now happens to be dead as well. This is an off-the-shelf uh, lawn tractor solenoid. So what the solenoid does is this red wire here comes from my ignition switch and it goes to the back. The ignition switch is right here and another wire from this switch goes down to the battery. When I turn, um, yes I have a sticker on my hand, my daughter put it there. I'm a lion apparently. Um, when I turn the ignition, it connects the points from the battery up through this red wire. This red wire then energizes the solenoid and in the, in the solenoid, in the casing, is uh, a piston uh, well, don't ask me what it looks like inside a, a piston or something other um, uh, that is uh, activated, actuated by a small 12 volt charge to then go and close these contacts. So inside, when you apply a small amount of 12 volt uh, uh, DC power, um, a metal piece inside clicks, and, and, and it's, a, it's a mechanical movement. It clicks and joins these two points. This point goes uh, to the battery by way of uh, a small gauge wire, lots of amperage. And this wire over here goes to the generator on the side of the motor. So right now when the solenoid is not engaged, these two are disconnected. Uh, when you turn the key, electricity or DC goes through this wire and uh, fires up, actuates the solenoid. The solenoid clicks, a piece of metal goes click and joins these two points on the inside. And so elect uh, current can go through from the battery direct to the generator and so the generator turns over and starts your car. Now, what do you do if your solenoid is broken? My cheap solenoid is again broken on this one for whatever reason. Um, I think I broke it because I had another starter on here which was tired and by tired I mean it wouldn't crank very strongly. Um, it needs to be rewound. Um, the windings are old. I mean this is a, a 50 year old tractor. Um, but I think I was having to keep the solenoid uh, charged or, or actuated for uh, too long of a time and it overheated and just failed uh, because my generator wasn't uh, working properly, my ge starter generator motor. I put a new starter generator motor on there so I shouldn't have that problem when I replace my solenoid. Um, however, I just haven't got around to it. But uh, what I do, what you can do to uh, work around a, a broken solenoid is 
to get a piece of metal that's going to go between these two points and jump them. So, I have my, my trusty uh, pliers. They do have uh, rubber on the grips, um, so it limits any transfer of amperage that uh, might want to go through there. Um, anytime when you're working with electricity of any sort, AC or DC, it's never a bad idea to have to uh, to have some distance some distance between you and the current. So the first thing is I I'm going to turn my key on because this tractor will not uh, uh, make a spark. It won't tell the uh, electronics on board to send a spark to the spark plug. Uh, even if it's turning over, even if the engine's turning over, um, it won't spark and so it won't fire. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn the key on. Now this isn't in crank mode, this is just in on mode. If I were to turn it farther to the right it would be in crank mode but it doesn't do anything. So you see if I Let's see if I can get light there. See when I do that, it does nothing. I should hear some clicking from the solenoid. But it's not working because the solenoid's burnt out, so that's fine. You know what that is? Now on my tractor I've got to turn the gas on. And the clutch or the choke is already out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to for a few seconds I'm gonna um, join these contacts manually. The same thing that would happen if you uh, if the solenoid was actuated. So I'm going to click on one and go over to the other. And that's what happens when you don't have a firm connection. It sparks a little bit. So I'm holding the camera. Let me see if I can do this again here. Key on. Let me do that one more time. I think I moved the camera as I was doing it here. Oh. So like I say, that's the easy workaround. Uh, maybe obvious to a lot of people who uh, work on launch actors, but uh, maybe to other people it's not so obvious. So uh, that's a good way to check if you're if you have a bad solenoid, if you're turn the key and it's not clicking and the engine's not turning over well the probably the first thing to check is your your voltage is, is, does your battery have enough power in it um, but then the next thing is uh, see if there's actually uh, 12 volt DC getting up to the solenoid you should be able to touch that uh, check that by uh, putting your positive up on the uh, the ignition wire and your negative on the battery and you should see I don't, I don't know what the voltage is but uh, well, I guess it would be 12 volts. Uh, that would make sense. Uh, I don't know what it looks like. I've never done that, but uh, that's an easy way to tell. If it's not clicking, um, you may have an issue with your ignition wiring, for sure. Um, but the other way to confirm that it's something in your wiring or the solenoid is just to cross these contacts there and, um, and see if that starts it for you. And, and if it does, you know you have a good starter generator. You know your uh, battery is good. And, uh, you know, the, the components otherwise uh, are good there. So, I don't know if that helps anybody, but uh, that is how a solenoid works and how it's used on a tractor for starting it up. Thanks for watching.